How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you an absolute banger list of games coming to PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium on August 20th, so next Tuesday. Starting off, we've got The Witcher 3. If you didn't grab this when it was having a flash sale, now you can play it on PlayStation Plus. It's a doozy of a platinum, coming in at a 7 out of 10 for difficulty and around 110 hours or so to finish everything, but there's a reason why it's rated as one of the best games of all time, so you'll probably enjoy it anyway. Next up, we've got Wild Hearts, and this is a PS5 exclusive. Think feudal Japanese Monster Hunter, but made by the Dynasty Warriors team. This one isn't nearly as rough as a regular Monster Hunter Platinum, if you've ever gone for those. Only a 4 out of 10 for difficulty and around 60 hours to finish everything, though do be aware that there's a few multiplayer trophies, so you'll have to be online for a bit. Next up, we've got Cult of the Lamb. This is genuinely one of the best roguelikes I've ever played, and I can't recommend it enough. What's even better is that it's a super doable platinum. Only a 3 out of 10 for difficulty and around 15 hours or so to finish everything. Next up, we've got Ride 5, and this is a PS5 exclusive. This is last year's iteration of the motorcycle racing franchise. While not particularly difficult, coming in at a 4 out of 10 for difficulty, it's a total grind at around 150 hours or so, maybe even upwards of 200. There's three multiplayer race trophies, so you'll have to be online for those. Next up, we've got Watch Dogs 2, and this is a PlayStation Plus re-release. Take the first game and just make it slightly better, and you've got Watch Dogs 2. It's a pretty doable platinum for this one, a 4 out of 10 for difficulty, and around 30 hours or so to finish everything in an open world game, so that's not bad at all. Though there are a few online trophies, so look out for those. Next up, we've got five different Sword Art Online games that I'm just going to lump together. If you want to play them in order, start with Lost Song, then Hollow Realization, then Fatal Bullet, then Alicization Lycoris, and finally Last Recollection. They're RPGs, so expect to sink a good amount of time into each of them if you're an SAO fan planning on getting all the Platinums. Next, we've got Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker, and this is a PlayStation Plus re-release. This is a team fighter-ish game similar to some of the Dragon Ball games with a totally unnecessary grind of a Platinum. It's only a 4 out of 10 for difficulty, but there's a trophy to finish a thousand battles online that's going to take the bulk of the 200 hours or so that you'll need to sink into this to get the Platinum, so I wouldn't recommend it. Next up, we've got one single PSVR game being added with PlayStation Plus Premium, and that's Vacation Simulator. Much like last month's VR release of Job Simulator, it's a pretty easy Platinum. It's only a 2 out of 10 for difficulty and only around 10 hours or so to finish everything, so if you've got PSVR, you can totally get this done in a weekend. Finally, we've got our PlayStation Plus Premium Classics games, so as usual, I have no idea what the trophy support is going to end up being, but I'll hope for the best with them recently adding trophies to classics they've added before. It's Time Splitters Month, apparently, and I'm good with that. We're getting the original Time Splitters, Time Splitters 2, and Time Splitters Future Perfect. So if you played any of those games at home on your PS2 or at the arcade growing up, you're probably as stoked as I am about this. So there you have it, this month's PlayStation Plus Premium and Extra Games. I'm pretty excited about this month. It's got quite a few games I'll be going for the Platinum in. If I had to pick just one to get excited about, it's got to be Time Splitters. I haven't touched any of those games in years, but let me know in the comments down below which games you'll be going for the Platinum in, and while you're at it, how about you leave a like and subscribe for more PlayStation Plus news and trophy hunting content.